I mean, my sister's just come off a moped in Zakynthos, and she might have to have a pin in her leg. And she flew budget, so it'll be a nightmare coming through airport security. The only airline that really understands is BA. Oh, yeah. I know. They're great, aren't they? <laughs> Here we go. My God, I'm going to have to learn to ride a horse. Oh, this looks like a very sweet scene. So what exactly is going on here? Hi, Jez. I was just telling Mark about Tor and her moped. You realise what he's doing in here, don't you? Jez. He bloody loves you. It's pathetic. I bet you've got a hard on, haven't you? What? No, of course I haven't. She was telling me about... Well, stand up straight. Take your trousers off. No, don't be ridiculous. If you're innocent, you've got nothing to hide, have you? Come on, let's have a look. No! Let me feel it. It's hard, isn't it? No, even if it was, it, it wouldn't prove love. It's just a human body. Oh, right. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's Mitchell and Webb. It takes two, baby. Just in case people are confused, uh, this is Mr. David Mitchell, ladies and gentlemen. Hello. This is Mr. Robert Webb. Hi. Okay. <laughs> uh, thank you for coming on. Now, now we showed a clip from Peep Show there, mm. okay, which has been on Channel Four for many years now. Oh yeah. So uh, it's like the last of the summer wine. Of Channel <laughs> 4, right? It's waiting for the episode where yeah. David goes down a, a, a big hill on a wheelbarrow yeah. with me laughing at the bottom. Well, there was one where you got lost in the woods, which yes. is not dissimilar yeah. to that scenario. Yeah, we yeah we're getting totally, close. Totally ripped off. Totally last ripped off of last of summer wine. Uh, I was surprised though because I thought you guys, because you played the character so convincingly, I assumed that you'd written uh, the show, which you didn't. Oh no! We're no. almost we're almost always scrupulous about pointing out that we don't. Yeah. Sometimes, sometimes we just pretend that you know we write the whole thing, but actually, no. It's yeah. um, Sam Bain and Jesse Armstrong. Is it in any way based on you two? Because you seem to inhabit the character so comfortably, and having bumped into you only briefly uh, in real life, you, you seem somewhat similar to the characters. In the to show. the two losers. Well, no. Uh, the two <laughs> lies. Unbelievably yeah. lost, clueless, people who are at once awful. unhappy and self-obsessed. Yes, I suppose if, if you, you know, I, look, I don't really want to get bogged down with the details, but you yeah. seem quite similar, and I wondered whether indeed you had inspired any of the shenanigans that but take it, place it, in the series. It may have been that the writers found two of the most hopeless individuals <laughs> in the world and decided to take pity on us yes. and find one environment in which we could thrive. One of self-mockery. Yes. <laughs> uh, I'm also very much enjoying uh, that Mitchell and Webb look, which is, which is actually more your own product, I guess, yeah, because you, you yeah. write that as well as Starry. We do. Yeah. OK. It's on Thursday nights, I believe. That's right. Yes. Yeah. BBC Two. Um, and it seems to me like people are now paying a lot more attention to you than previously. And, and it's almost as if, you know, you're being treated like one of these overnight successes, these guys, the big new stars to be. How long have you actually been together for, though? 52 years. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, but it's been such a joy. It yeah. looks like we're younger. Just yeah, young you know, it, it yeah. only feels like 12 years. Yeah. So you met, where were you? University or yeah, you were working? Right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And we started doing, you know, little shows as a hobby. Mm -hmm. And uh, then, then ruined it all by turning it into a job. Yeah. So we hate comedy now. Yeah. And but we haven't got a hobby now. <laughs> I've been trying model trains, but I'm not really into it. So have to fall back on, you know, history and masturbation. Yeah. <laughs> like my character in Peach. <laughs> You've got a tour coming up, I know that. Now, yeah. you're going to be living in each other's pockets, figuratively, OK, mm. on the road together, leading the wild life, like young men do, OK? And, and you will get on each other's nerves occasionally. Yeah, but, yes. I mean, we went through that phase years ago. I mean, it's fine. If we were going to have a massive stand-up, knuckle-busting row, then I think we would have done that in sort of 1996. Have you ever had a big row? No. No, we like to sort of suppress all those feelings. Horrible, <laughs> passive-aggressive, <Yeah>. tetchy <laughs> yeah. bitterness. It's better to be passive-aggressive, I think. Oh, uh, definitely, yeah. I think speaking your mind is, is wildly overrated. If you feel that something's going wrong, <laughs> then you go, OK, fine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's how we write. Well, that's yeah. the best, that's um, the adult I think way of dealing with I think this would be a good show. Do you? Yeah. yeah. OK. OK, well, put it then. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, that'll be fine. Are you looking forward to the tour? When does the tour kick off? Oh, yeah, very, very much. much. Uh, it starts a fortnight... Uh, well, no, it starts, it starts in 13, 13 days' time. Mm. That's, it's a useful way of putting it, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. It starts, it starts 30, in 30... Yeah. 30 I, I have no other use of time... The 19th of October. ...other than the day, you know. Just say in a couple of weeks, that'll be fine. A couple of weeks, that's fine. You're a very precise person, I could tell. I try and keep it precise, yeah. You've got it all screwed down and ready, you've rehearsed it, you know what you're doing exactly. I think if or? we did the show tomorrow, it would be a f 
fuck up. Um, <laughs> but no, we've got a couple of weeks. Uh, we, yeah, we basically know what we're, what we're doing. A lot of character changes, a lot of costume changes on oh, stage. Oh, yeah, a lot of costume changes. Lightning fast Wigs costume and, changes. And hats and, you know. Trousers sometimes. Bits of set moving around. Anyone else on stage with you? Yes, uh, James Barkman and Abigail Burdess are two uh, very funny supporting people helpers. And they're on stage, they do a little support beforehand or just on stage with you? No, they're they, in, they, in just, they just get the bad parts in sketches. Yeah. And they get an equal share of all profits, I imagine? No. No, no, no. no. no, no. no, no. They're not being paid, because okay. this is a wonderful opportunity for them. <laughs> 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 I mean, they, they understand yeah. that. Yeah. And, yeah. and the other thing is the tour bus does get a bit messy. Yes, and yes. So it's they're, useful they're, to they're have. there for that. Yeah. You know? And they can always sleep underneath it, because yeah. it's, it's got quite big wheels. Yeah. So. Uh, also, the fellas, you, you might, you're just about the busiest people in show business right now. I guess you're striking while the iron's very hot, in case it, in case it goes cold on you, I suppose. Not that it will, I don't want to worry you, but of course, you know, I've seen them all rise and fall, and inevitably after a rise, there will be a fall. It's a simple chemistry of celebrity. That which is hot must inevitably grow cold, and that which is cold can be reheated, but only very carefully and not more than once. <laughs> so anyway, you're busy so you're at the moment. We should kill ourselves now. No, 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 no. <laughs> Uh, you're busy at the moment, and you're making a movie as well. And I'm very excited about this. It's a film. It's written by the guys who wrote Peep Show. Is that correct? Yeah, us. Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, Simon Jesse. Yeah. Can you tell us what the premise is of the film? It's about uh, two magicians who were a fairly successful magician double act, and uh, and then they fell out when um, David's magician um, cut the head off his assistant wife. Uh, after he discovered her sleeping with me, the magician. So he actually cut it off. It wasn't a kind of a clever trick. He did, but we didn't know. It was, we it don't was know. supposed to be a clever trick. We don't know whether out. it was murder or accident. Murder or accident. Accident. It's a bit like Quincy, really. Murder, accident. <laughs> um, and then, uh, but they get together four years later because they're both sort of on their uppers <laughs> and um, because they need to win a magic competition for the money. Let me ask you about solo work. Because, David, you've been on any number of other TV shows, and uh, at the moment you're, you're kind of a regular on at least one panel show I'm aware of. Is that right? Yeah, uh, yeah I'm, I'm on a show called uh, Best of the Worst right, on which... Channel 4, and uh, I've been on lo lots of them, and, I, you know, I, I like them. Cause... You like them because you're good at them and you can show off on them. Uh, well, yes, thank that's you very it, much. It? <laughs> you can, but you are but... very good at them, and you're a bit of a show-off. Yeah. Well, I mean, you know... We're all show-offs, aren't we? Well, not Look, we're standing, sitting here, pretending to have a chat, <laughs> like this is how we chat, and there are hundreds of other people there, and it's being broadcast. That's not the behaviour of normal people. It's not normal. You know? Otherwise, you know, this isn't how you'd arrange your living room. <laughs> this is it's absurd. You'd, where's you the TV? You should be using that space more effectively. Yeah, can you, have you ever been round, ever been round to someone's house to give you a cup of tea and say, no, I prefer to sit behind a desk. <laughs> <laughs> You'd leave, wouldn't you? Now, yeah. tell me about your project. Yeah. <laughs> I really better not invite you round again. <laughs> You're heading up the tour, as we've established, in 13 days from now. Uh, yes, indeed. Okay. Yeah. Yes, okay. count them down. Yeah. Approximately yeah. 13 days. Uh, and I'm hoping you'll be filming the tour, because those sort of well, yeah, things... We will, and we there'll, will. there'll be a, a DVD for people to take home with them and Any, remember it. On, on the, you won't sell it on the night of the tour, though, will you? No, uh, I, think, I think it will be ready sort of halfway through okay. the tour. Because that's a bit a, a bit tawdry if you're waiting as people are leaving yeah, with your own little stall going. Going. Yeah, well, see that again Jonathan, at home. Jonathan, there's Christmas coming up. You know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank you very much for coming on the show. Uh, I'm a big fan. I hope you carry on doing both shows. I love Peep Show, so please don't stop doing that. But that Mitchell and Webb look is great as well. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Robert Webb and David Mitchell. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for coming on. Yeah. Mitchell and Webb, ladies and gentlemen.